If you're like most teachers in the United States or even the world right now, you are grappling with how you're going to put your course online. And a lot of you are probably considering Zoom and you've heard Zoom from every direction. Everyone says, use Zoom, use Zoom, use Zoom, use Zoom. And you're like, okay, I'll use Zoom, but how do I use Zoom? So that's what I want to show you. In this video, I want to show you exactly how to host live online office hours using Zoom. I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up on your learning management system, create a link, host it, everything you need to know, click by click, you'll get to watch my screen as it happens live, and you'll be able to set it up for your class. Now, this video that you're about to watch is actually a video that is contained in my temporary digital pedagogy course over at epicchired.com. And this is a course that I put together to help instructors like you get your course online fast and maintain it through an entire campus closure while making it as quality as possible without going insane yourself and serving your students to the best of your ability. If you're here watching this video, I think you care about your students and you're not just wanting to put a bunch of terrible materials up online and call it a day. You want as good of an experience for your students as possible and that's what that course is trying to achieve. I am currently pre-selling it right now for $49. It's going to release Monday, March 16th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for $199 and it will have everything you need, an entire video how-to guide, there will be downloadable templates and worksheets and everything. So this video that you're about to watch is a preview from that. If you watch it, find it helpful and want to explore the option of the course a bit more, go ahead and look for the link down below. Good luck with office hours. Good luck with your transition to online learning. You can absolutely do this. Okay, let's go ahead and go through exactly how to host live office hours using Zoom. So we'll take you from setup to the end of it. What you want to do is go to your learning management account and use your Zoom login. You could use a Zoom login that is on your iPad or your phone as a separate um, system. However, the free versions, if you're not using your school sponsored account, those free versions have a limited number of participants and you may not be able to field everyone who wants in. Whereas if you go through one that has been assigned to you through your campus wide account, it can host a lot more. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click Zoom login, I'm all logged in. Here we go. So let's say I wanna host office hours during the time that classes are canceled. And I wanna be clear and regular and scheduled with my students. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to meetings and I'm going to schedule a new meeting and I'm going to call these Zoom office hours and these will be the office hours and I'm going to specifically say open office hours during closure and hopefully you know the length of your closure but you can always come back and edit this we are on spring break here at csu chico for the next week of march and so on the 23rd i'd like to start these and maybe your office hours are regularly scheduled but for me they're not so there's a couple of different ways to do this and i'm going to do it I'm gonna create a meeting schedule for each of my office hours because they happen at different times. So, Zoom office hours, Mondays at 10 a.m. So these are when my Monday office hours are scheduled. They go for an hour. This is in the topic. I know exactly what it is. I'm going to say this is a reoccurring meeting and I am going to make this weekly on Mondays and let's say I know our closure ends, let's say April 10th, and I'm not 
I don't know when our closure is going to be, but I'm just putting it out there. Again, I can always go back and edit it. I would like to allow people to join before the host. That way people don't have to wait for me to start it. They could get in, they could ask each other questions. Um, and once I join in, they'll be ready to go. And then I want only authenticated users to join. This forces them to sign in so I know who I'm talking to. And then I'm gonna click save. And now here's all the details. Here's a unique meeting code for these office hours that you could share with your students. But what I encourage you to do is there's this URL that has the code at the end of it. I encourage you to highlight it, copy it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our Blackboard account. This is my learning management system. I have already set up a Zoom area on it. And you can see that there's a link for lectures. So my students can click on that link to go to lectures, but this is office hours. So what I'm gonna do, build content, choose a web link, and this will specifically be Monday Zoom office hours. And I'm gonna put the time right in the heading to make it as clear as possible. So these are the Monday Zoom office hours and I'm going to paste that link right there. And that is that. If you want any descriptions or any more information for your students, you can put it there. And then you just click submit. And now what this does is if they click on this, they will know that Mondays from 10 to 11 a.m., these are your Zoom office hours. I like starting with the day of the week because if you start with Zoom office hours, and put Monday at the end, it just encourages students to potentially click on the wrong link. So make sure they, I like putting the day of the week just because it helps decrease some of that friction and just ensure a good experience for you and your students. So let's say I have office hours a second day at a different time. I'm gonna go back to meetings and I am going to schedule a new meeting and go through the exact same thing. So we will call these Wednesday Zoom office hours. And the first one will happen on Wednesday the 25th. And my Wednesday office hours, these happen at one o'clock for one hour. And this will be a reoccurring meeting weekly Wednesdays. And we used April 10th as our end date for the last one. You can always come in and change that. Again, I like them to be able to join in early before I get there. You don't have to, and I like to only allow authentic users to join, and I click save. Now this is a different code and a different password specific to these office hours. So I'm gonna highlight it exactly the way I did it before, copy it, go back to my Blackboard, build a content link, web link, call this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say Monday and let it do a lot of the work for me and then I'm gonna edit it. Wednesday Zoom office hours and I know that these ones are from 1 to 2 p.m. and here is my link and I'm going to press submit and boom. Now my students can click on exactly whichever one they need to join in on and they're ready to go. How do I start these? I go to my meetings area and you'll see that there are these upcoming meetings here. And so the first office hour to occur is this Monday, March 23rd, Zoom office hours. All I do is I click start. I click start and it opens the meeting and it goes. And so we'll see what that looks like here. Zoom launches, I'll join with my computer audio. And you could have your video on if you want your video on so that students can see you. You don't have to have your video on, it could just be audio. Um, in fact, if you want, you can choose a virtual background to make things a little more interesting. Um, you could add a image to be your background if you want your cute dog to be your image instead of you. All these things are possible. 
And then what you want to do is click manage participants and click chat. And once you have these two things, you can go through stuff and have students. Now, let's say you have a student come in who wants to talk about their grades and you need to open up a confidential file or have a confidential conversation. What you want to do is click more and click out or click breakout rooms. And when you click this, what you want to do is you, you can say, you can assign, you can manually assign participants into any number of rooms. So there is no one in my room. And what I did is I used my iPad to go ahead and join. So that's why you see two versions of me, Dustin and Dustin. One is my academic work account and one is my personal account. And when I create this breakout room, it will show the number of participants and you can automatically let it just assign people or I'm gonna manually do it and I'm gonna create one room. So assign one participant into one room and create this room. Breakout room one, I'm going to assign Dustin Backey into it. He's the person I wanna to talk to and I want to open all the rooms. And so on my iPad, what has happened is as the student, I have been invited to a breakout room and I can click join. And when I join that, it creates a separate room that is just the two people and you can change broadcast message to all if you want to say something to everyone. But what you want to do is they are in this breakout room. And so you click join breakout room. Yes. And you're joining breakout room. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to remove you from your regular one. Again, you're going into a private room so that you and a student can talk about something potentially confidential that you don't want anyone else to be able to hear. And now that you're in this breakout room with this student, again, you can manage participants and you can chat and you can see that this is breakout room, da 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 da. And let's say we're done chatting, I can leave the breakout room and I could just return to the main session. That way the main session keeps going, people can still be in there, they will see that I am in a breakout room and I can just jump back in and then on my other side as a student, they will see that I have left the room and they can choose to leave and return to the main session as well and then I can click those manage participants and chat and see that we're both back. So that is how you would want to use this for live office hours. I hope that helps.